Hey everyone, Musical Joker here, and Lupin Zero and Lupin vs. Cat's Eye are fast approaching, as Lupin Zero is slated to release in a few days on December 16th, while Lupin vs. Cat's Eye just unveiled its release date, which is slated for January 27th of 2023 worldwide. This is awesome news, as overseas fans like me won't have to wait for a translation to be done months later to enjoy this film. I figure though, now is a great time to talk about both trailers that just recently launched for Lupin Zero and Lupin vs Cat's Eye, as we've gotten a good chunk of details from both trailers. Let me know what you're more excited to watch down in the comments below, and don't forget to hit subscribe as that does help the channel out a lot. Thank you and let's get rolling with Lupin Zero's second trailer. Well. The biggest thing that happens in this trailer is the unveil of the new young kid around the block, Jigen, played by Shunsuke Takeuchi. I'm unsure if they've shown him off before in the manga or any other media, but this is actually how I would imagine younger Jigen to be. It's funny seeing him too as he seems more of a delinquent than Lupin, although we can see throughout the trailer that Lupin is just getting himself into no good. I wonder whether those events that occur in the trailer are related to helping this pink haired young lady, otherwise known as Yoko, played by Saori Hayami, as she appears to be an important person of interest in this anime. Also, let's be a bit transparent here really quick. I gotta know why Jigen has a gun at such a young age, as there has to be a reason behind that, right? Is he alone and wandering around with that gun to defend himself, or is his family gun fanatics like him? Hopefully they dive more into Jigen and a bit of his backstory to kind of fully flesh out more of his character. He doesn't need it, but a little something does go a long way. Either way, I'm excited to see the origins of Lupin and Jigen's friendship as they seemingly don't get along right away, so it makes me wonder what crucial event has to happen for them to work well together. Aside from Jigen being a major player here, we have some important characters to address that have made some minor appearances in the trailer. We have Shinobu, played by Toa Yukinari. She may be some sort of maid to the Lupin family or an instructor at the school Lupin attends, more than likely the former though, as she has a very quick blink and you miss it appearance, with her appearance not really adding much to the importance of the story as far as we know, only seeming to mention how Lupin is causing trouble for the family. Again, please take any Japanese info from me with a grain of salt as I was just able to chunk this into Google Translate and we all know how good this could be. Next, a gentleman with a beard like Jigen but a face like Lupin, which is Lupin II or Lupin Nisei voiced by Toshio Furukawa. There isn't much of him here, as the only thing he does is grab Lupin's face and tells him to go, with a seemingly caring face. He seems to be that voice of reason and reassurance for Lupin in what may happen in the related events within Lupin Zero. I do think it'll be nice seeing Lupin at that age where having a sort of mentor or father figure would greatly benefit him and help him shape into the man he is today. Next is the original Arsene Lupin. Lupin the First, played by Yoshito Yasuhara. He seems to be a bit senile, as we do see him cackling rather creepily. He does mention how someone may be the only candidate to succeed him, which I would assume be Lupin the Third, our Lupin. I don't know if this is just me, but I feel as though we may see Lupin die within Lupin Zero, as that crazy laugh does seem like a sort of dying laugh to me. Something else to mention is how Arsene Lupin has trained Lupin the Third since he was a kid by showing him sitting nearby while Lupin the Third is attempting to crack open a safe. As far as we can see, the main theme of Lupin Zero may be about how Lupin needs to shape up to become the next mantle of the Lupin family, and how he is struggling to deal and handle the large responsibility that has landed upon him. Possibly with the help of Jigen, he will be able to reach that goal and be up for the challenge of taking that mantle. Lastly, a few more important details to touch upon. The setting changes rapidly amongst a sea of different environments from a big castle, I'm assuming Lupin's family castle, a school, a town and poor, and possibly much more. Seems like the duo will be out and about getting into no good, which will be a treat since we may see some places that hold significance to Lupin while also seeing some beautiful local areas too. One quick thing we see is a set of three books, which may be related to a treasure that Lupin may be responsible for stealing, or it could relate with his family, or Yoko as well as important information Lupin may need to be aware of when he takes the Lupin title. And there has to be some significance of this cave-like structure with doors inside of it 
that may be related to the current events within Lupin Zero or the Lupin family line, but as of right now, we're unaware of what this may behold. Overall, the series may focus on Lupin taking the responsibility of being Lupin III, while initially rejecting this as he may learn to grow into it, but seeming unwilling to be able to go towards that path, especially since he seems to be at odds with himself and his family currently, as shown through the dialogue in the trailer, as he wonders why people are trying to control his life for him. And as to how Lupin finally becomes the titular Lupin III character we know and love today, we will have to find out soon on December 16th. Anyway, that's all I have for that trailer. Let's move on to the next one, Lupin vs. Cat's Eye. So I gotta say, this trailer has got me a bit more excited, but I still want to keep myself in check as the versus concept has never really been done well. However, this has the opportunity to become far more interesting than before, as this is over a set of paintings, one set held by the Lupin gang, the other stolen by Cat's Eye, with there being a third piece set into play waiting to be acquired. I'm excited to see how things will begin and how the two groups may interact as I assume all three pieces of artwork are needed to gain even bigger treasure or a massive clue to Cat's Eye's missing father, as they aren't the only groups of people after this painting. Before I continue, I want to give another brief recap on details for Cat's Eye. Their main goal is to steal pieces of artwork as they relate to Cat's Eye's missing father, as he disappeared some time ago with these pictures being items he once previously owned and are the only clues to tracking him down. The only thing we need to learn now is to why Lupin's gang is interested in these pictures and what is the motive for this third party going after these paintings as well. We will have to see soon. Moving on, we are given a couple more characters of interest within this trailer. This time, we get to see Pops in the trailer, discussing the theft of the painting that will bring our two groups together. It's always nice to see him, although we know the role he will play within this film, tracking down and capturing Lupin. I assume the same goes for the other officer, Detective Toshio Utsumi, as I assume him and Zenigata will be working together as Toshio is responsible for bringing in Cat's Eye. Another person of interest is Heinrichs Berger, who appears to lend some info to Cat's Eye, informing them that there is a third painting waiting to be found. Unfortunately, as far as I'm aware of, this character is only within the specific movie. Other smaller appearances of Nagashi Sadatsugu and Dennis Kirchman are shown. Nagashi is a trusted confidant of Cat's Eye, by providing them intel and equipment whenever possible for any upcoming heist as he was a good friend of their father. Dennis also appears to be a character only shown in this film, as he appears to be the third party that is looking to locate the third missing art piece that may provide more than just clues to Cat's Eye's missing father. I will say that this trailer is definitely more action packed than anything, as there isn't a whole lot to mention here that may relate to the plot. All we know is that these three art pieces may hold the key to Cat's Eye's father's location but also to something much bigger than that. Something that has caught the attention of a militaristic force and of course, the Lupin gang. Some notable things to mention amongst this action in this trailer is the fact that Lupin is taking quite a beating here, as he's covered in blood and bandages. As well as this third party being a difficult enemy to overcome as we see both Lupin and Cat's Eye confront this man on his pursuit for the paintings. Speaking of which, I assume this square with three colors shining brilliantly is related to the three paintings being put in place, perhaps? It's difficult to say, but that is my best guess at this point, unless there is something more important underneath these paintings, which would cause this device here to react. This trailer really gives me more questions than answers while fueling my excitement to see where the plot may take us next month in January. I honestly can't wait. Also, before I finish up, I really want to comment on both trailers for their music as the newly made part 1 music sounds so good and really refreshing but yet so familiar to old fans of the franchise, which may entice many new fans of Lupin to tackle part 1 and hopefully enjoy it for what it is. And don't get me started on Lupin vs Cat's Eye as the music here is iconic to both, but there are some new tracks that remain loyal to both groups where it's funky, stylish, and beautiful to listen to. Anyways, what did you guys think about these trailers and are you looking forward to these upcoming projects? You can for sure count me in. Well, until next time, farewell. <laughs>